Welcome to the first episode of Legacy Unveiled. I'm your host, Art Smith, Vice President of Corporate Development at Legacy Investment. And today, we have Daryl Kenna, who's CEO of Epiphany Group, our asset management organization, as well as chair of our trustee board here at Legacy. Uh, what we're gonna drill down today, Daryl, and ask a question about is sort of like the history of the Epiphany Group and the fund and, and how we got there. So tell us a little bit about yourself and that journey. So born and raised in Southern Alberta in Lethbridge. Uh, for over 30 years, I've been in the investment business. Uh, in 2018, we formed Epiphany Group with an amalgamation of two or three companies. Now, although it was 2018, some of those companies have been on the landscape of uh, Southern Alberta since the 1980s, so well in excess of 40 years. So we took all that together, shaped it, and today we sit as an asset management firm investing in real estate with our vertically aligned companies. Okay, well, that's very nice. It's, you know, we're kind of new right, 2018, but we have lots of experience, lots of depth yep. in the team and with management, so that's excellent. Can you really sort of maybe help everybody understand why real estate is our focus? Yeah, I think if you sit down and think about, uh, you know, uh, Canadians and, and, and particularly prominent families in Canada, you sort of associate it with real estate. But if you even go back two or 300 years and start to think about it, the wealthy names or the names that most people would recognize and have stood the test of time all have a real estate base inside of it. So for us, what did that mean? That means that real estate stable, predictable. Uh, there's only a finite amount of it. Um, like they say in that, I think the old saying that the best investment on earth is earth. So we invest in earth because it's stable, predictable, not correlated to the stock market. So we like it. Yeah, I, I can definitely guarantee that the people I talk to, our investors, you know, people are interested in, in us and our advisors like the predictability, like the stability. You know, and like the fact that it's not correlated to the stock market. And, and, you know, and the other thing is real estate is very tangible. Everybody knows, you know, a little bit about if they've rented an apartment or they bought a house or they've actually been a real estate investor, they get the idea of real estate investment. So that's very good. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the actual journey that Epiphany Group went through from its early days in the real estate space yeah. up until now and why we are using the trust? Yeah, for sure. I think if you sit down and think about the biggest Canadian real estate companies, uh, and if you went back historically, I think you would see humble and small beginnings, and we're no different. So we sort of had to scrape together what we could to buy our first property. And those properties would be single homes and then duplexes and then even small commercial for the businesses we owned. And that's kind of where we sat there. And for a lot of people, that might be their journey. They own a, one piece of real estate or they own a piece of real estate their business operates in. But for us, we wanted to take it further and keep scaling up. So in order to do that, we need better processes. We need more predictable and consistent capital. That's where the mutual fund trust comes in. So all we've done is taken it to a sort of a, a further and further stage. It's kind of like that sort of grassroots beginning where you learn you know, about the business, you actually learn, you know, how to make the business productive, deal with some of the issues, yep. right? Because there's always something broken yep. somewhere. Yep. And then you start growing it and growing it. And the trust helps with that predictable capital to actually scale the business up. Yeah, and I was going to say that also, you know, for us, the, 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 our foray into real estate happened in a time when there's a lot of things changing in the world. So we've had a great opportunity over the very challenging five years to prove out the model interest rates, uh, COVID, uh, you know, sit about, think about migration internally across Canada, immigration, there's a lot of stuff going on and our model has proved itself and is super well positioned for what we're walking into in the future here. So I'd like to thank you, Daryl, for sharing those insights today. Yeah. Much appreciated and we look forward to asking you some more questions in the future. Sounds good, look forward to coming back.